in the south of China's Gansu province, the Machu wetland has more than 300 tributaries, large and small, distributed like capillaries across the surface of the earth. As the Yellow River, China's second longest river, reaches Machu, the water it carries accounts for just 20% of the total water volume of the Yellow River. That total swells to 65% as it leaves Machu. The abundant water nourishes the vast grassland. This grassland is located in the eastern end of the Qinghai-Tibet Plateau in China, with a total area of 3,750 square kilometers. It is about the size of three cities the size of Los Angeles. But this is no city of angels, but a paradise for cattle and sheep. The sheep breed is unique to Mashu. It gets its name from Mount Ula nearby. Their slightly spiral upturned V-shaped horns make them handsome beasts. The secret of the resilience of the Ula sheep lies in the green grassland. More than 50% of the grassland here is put over to growing Chinese herbal medicines. By grazing on these herbs, the sheep develop a stronger resistance to diseases. Beyond grazing and drinking, running becomes their daily essential fitness sport. The Ula sheep are not alone. The yaks of Machu also love running across the wetland grassland. China is the home of yaks. More than 90% of yaks in the world live on the Qinghai Tibet Plateau and in the surrounding six provinces. Yaks account for more than half of the livestock raised by Machu herdsmen. The rich water and grass not only nurtures Ula sheep and yaks, but also serves as the cornerstone of the existence of the Machu people. The Yellow River, which nourishes more than 750,000 square kilometers of land, is called the Mother River by the Chinese people. The Machu wetland contributes nearly half of the water to the Yellow River. What it truly nurtures goes far beyond what we can see here.